and welcome to another edition of the SB President's Netcast, video edition. I'm Vinny Lopez, President of the Society of Broadcast Engineers, and on this edition of the President's Netcast, we're going to highlight some recent SBE happenings and bring everyone up to speed on our recent activities. We spared no expense today to bring you this information with our new Skybox set, complete with flat screen monitors, a great view of the field, and all kinds of amenities. Okay, you got me. It's a virtual set. As we continue through 2011, my sincere hope for the Society and its members is that we all continue to raise the bar we have set for ourselves this year. Government relations, and specifically our legislative agenda, is one of the foundations of the Society. Recently, SBE Executive Director John Poré, Vice President Ralph Hogan, Immediate Past President Barry Thomas, General Counsel Chris Imlay, and I visited Washington for two days of meetings with Congress and the FCC. We went to Capitol Hill to drum up support for the 2011 versions of the FCC Commissioner's Technical Resource Act, which was Senate Bill S-2881 in last year's congressional session. Basically, this bill would give each FCC commissioner the ability to add an engineer to their professional staffs. SBE has been pursuing this specific kind of legislation for years, and we were pleased to see it finally begin to come together. The session ended, however, before a vote could be taken on the bill and its House companion. Visits were made to the offices of Representatives Doris Mitsui, Phil Gingry, Ed Markey, Anna Eshu, Cliff Stearns, John Dingle, Mike Doyle, Mike Rogers, and Frank Pallone. We also met with the Majority Council to the House Telecommunications Subcommittee. We were very encouraged with a number of those visited indicating a likely support. SBE General Counsel Chris Imlay will be making follow-up contacts and visits to additional congressional offices as we move forward. Well, two days after we completed our visits on the Hill, Senator Snow introduced S-611, the FCC Tech Act, which is the 2011 version of S-2881 that we were pushing last year. We hope to have a companion House bill dropped soon. SBE will be providing sample letters that you can send to your elected representatives again this year to encourage them to support the FCC Tech Act. While we were in Washington, we also made a visit to 12th Street to the FCC, where we met with nine staff, primarily from the Wireless Bureau, to deliver an ex parte presentation regarding SBE's concern with Wireless Backhaul Document 10153, the amendment of Part 101 sharing of broadcast auxiliary allocations with operational fixed microwave licensees. This would allow for fixed services to share with broadcasters in the 7 and 13 gig bands. The basic position of the society is that while this sharing plan is well-intentioned, it really is not practical. Now, as we do every year, broadcast engineers make the trek to Las Vegas in April for the NAB show. The society will have several meetings during the conference, including the membership meeting on Tuesday, April 12th at 5.15 p.m. Check the website for specific information on the meeting. Several SBE committees are meeting at NAB as well. You can also get more information on these at the SBE website at www.sbe.org. Now don't forget to stop by the SBE booth while you're at NAB, located near the top of the escalators in the front of the South Hall. We'll have plenty of books and SBE logo merchandise in stock. Many of the SBE staff and officers will also be working the booth during the show, so be sure to stop by and say hi. Also, for members, there is a special incentive going on. If you happen to come by the booth during one of my scheduled appearances, I'm going to give you an added discount on any SBE logo merchandise you've purchased. Check with the staff in the booth for the times, and I hope to see all of you there. SBE continues to provide you, our members, with the best in education and broadcast engineering information. If you have any questions or comments, you may send them to me at vlopez at sbe.org. I will personally see that they get sent to the person best able to help you. You can also visit the newly redesigned SBE website at www.sbe.org 
for all the latest news and information on all things SBE. Finally, we bid farewell to SBE Communications Manager Holly Essex, who will be leaving the Society shortly. We thank Holly for her three years of dedicated service and wish her the best in her future endeavors. Thanks to all of you for watching, and if you get the opportunity, stop by and see us at NAB. The booth is near the top of the escalators in the South Hall of the Las Vegas Convention Center. Our thanks also to SUNY ESF Television in Syracuse, New York, for their assistance in the production of this netcast. For all of us at the Society, I'm Vinny Lopez. Thanks for watching, and so long for now.